Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Matt, this is Hugo, and we have a jam-packed, news-packed show for you today. Jam, roll, sandwich, <laughs> yeah, packed. with bacon in it. So we're kicking off with the news that 27-year-old Austrian Jakob Schuber has climbed Stoking the Fire, a 9B in Santa Linea. This was a fantastic start of the year for Jakob and he tried the route last year but broke a foothold off on the crux which made things a bit trickier for him. This is his third 9B and it's a great start to the season and bodes well for the competition season ahead. So you know how we were talking about the other day about Stefano, Stefano Gazzolfi being the third person after Chris Sharma and Adam Odra to climb the amount of 9Bs? Yeah. Does that put him in level with, with Stefano? So that's Stefano. his third third 9B and Stefano's done three. Yeah, and he's projecting another one. And he's pro that's, that's the, neck and neck. I'm about to say, they're ruining neck the news before oh. the news. Okay, sorry, carry on. Uh, Spain is seeing an <laughs> influx of climbers at the moment. Everyone seems to be in Spain crushing it. Uh, Yanya Garnbrecht, she sent a 9A called Selexio Natural. It's about time. Yeah, I know, what's she been doing, right? Yeah, exactly. Just lazy. Winning stuff. Uh, there was a British team over there uh, featuring Jim Pope, uh, Jan Hoyer was there, Molly Thompson-Smith was there, but uh, she's injured, so she appeared to be watching a lot. Um, Any bigger sense from the British guys? Uh, Jim Pope did an 8C, I saw that much. Nice. Um, so he's, he's, he's on it. Um, on, we wish Molly uh, healing up vibes, because she had an operation yesterday. All She's the best. Big old cast on her arm, so she'll yeah. be back stronger than ever. Of course, Epic TV athlete Stefan Gasolfi, as you ruined What's he up to? just now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying a project called La Capella, project for him, um, yep. another 9B. Mm -hmm. Seems to be getting pretty close in this. He's, he's updating a lot on his Instagram account about his progress, and I think the second crux is where he's just struggling to get through, and he's just shredded his fingers as well. So It's mega sense season right there. It, it really it? is. Like, Why aren't we in Spain? It's a good question. We should be in Spain. Yeah, we're sending our projects here. Yeah. Epic TV projects. Yeah. Okay, um, more news. Adam Ondra has made a first ascent 9A. Uh, it's called La Tiora de Geste in Italy. Del Geste, Gesto. The route is at Grotta del Arionata in Italy and follows much of Gianluca Degnali's 9A Grandi Geste before finishing up in the last section of a very overhanging Cavalieri Selvaggi to create a new 9A test piece. So this is now Adam Ondra's 21st grade, uh, climb of 9A or harder. I mean, he's on another level. Yeah, he really is. Uh, free solo news now. Uh, Danny Arnold uh, has climbed the beta, uh, beta Block Super Icefall in... Uh, I don't really want to try to pronounce this. Go on, do it. It's more fun if you do it. Bread Wang Flu. That's not bad. It's got Wang in it. Uh, Danny was quoted uh, saying that he doesn't want to downplay the risks and the enormous danger involved because uh, he loves his life, which is a pretty exciting quote, I think. And this is a pretty exciting climb. It looks amazing. So known as one of the hardest climbs in the Alps, this is a 300 meter water ice seven climb. The ascent took him one hour and three minutes. Danny is known for his incredible speed ascents of the Matterhorn and the Eiger, and he sees this climb as one of the highlights of his career so far. One hour, three minutes? Mm. That is quick. Yeah. Well, I suppose if you're like hanging around on ice with no ropes, you don't really want to be You just like dun, 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 <laughs> yeah, you just go, 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 go. Yeah. But pretty cool. He took like a backpack, uh, a few carabiners, a few ice screws for the descent. Had a photographer there with him, and as you just saw, the photos are pretty incredible. So balls of steel, indeed. Yeah. All right. So a uh, friend of the show, Tom Livingston, who we've interviewed a couple of times in the past, is over in Canada, and he's hooked up with his Canadian uh, climbing mate, uh, Mark Andre Leclerc, and they made a first ascent. Tom is in Canada, aiming to make a new route on Mount Slessy with Arcteryx athlete Mark Andre. If you don't know who Mark Andre is, he's the one who made the first free solo of Cerro Torre back in 2015. As a warm-up to that route, they made the first winter ascent of a classic summer route, Navigator Wall, on Mount Sless. Tom said of the route, it's given 6B and is all on trad gear. The winter ascent was about 700 meters and is a sustained and high quality route. The climbing was steep on a predominantly good rock and was either dry tooling, mixed or ice. Thanks to UKC for help with that story. I love the fact everyone's calling that a sort of warm-up. Yeah, no. And it's like it's it's a it's a pretty. Extreme He's got climb. a mega proj. Like him and Mark and Jay can do like a mega proj coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned to, yep. for that for his Instagram. All right, one more story. Um, do you know the uh, climb the Cobra Crack? I've heard in of Squamish. it. Squamish. I do. It's the one with the mono undercling yep. thingy, Bobby. Move. Uh, can you name four play people who have climbed that? Tom Randall. Yes. Matt Groom. Yes. No. Uh, Pete, think Whitaker. so, yes. That dude on YouTube, he's had that really popular video, but I can't remember his name. Mason Earl. Mason Earl, very good video as well. Yep. Uh, 
I'm no, no idea. Anyway, like so basically that has seen twelve ascents that climb. Uh including Yuri Huj Yuri Hujiyama, Alex Honnold, Sonny Trotter, uh Mason o, Will Stanhope, so basically like big names. The twelfth ascent was made by a guy called Logan Barber. You heard of him? No. Australian guy, he's a geologist from Perth. Uh he's got quite a a uh, tick list of crack climbs under his belt and he's recently just put up what could be the hardest crack climb in Australia. Back in 2017 he made the 12th ascent of the famous Canadian route Cobra Crack and now Logan Barber has made the first ascent of what could be the hardest crack climb in Australia. It's around the equivalent of French 8B or 31 in Australian grades but protected just by trad gear. There are harder trad routes in the country but it's the first time that a pure crack has beaten the 30 grade in the Australian system. That looks like a cool climb. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, like Australia has got this like, really sort of rich climbing her heritage and history and Herita just, heritage. We should do. We should do something there. Yeah, let's go. Send flight tickets and reservations. Okay, we'll be there. Right, admin, admin. Let's yeah. Get it done. So, uh, winter climbing sale at the <clears> Epic <throat> TV shop. This is a huge, massive, amazing sale of gear, clothing, equipment, just everything. To get to it, go to the outlet section on the Epic TV shop and it's all split into categories so you can choose what you want and like. Uh, some of the stuff's up to 40% off. So January, sale, look, January sale, January sale, bargain. January sale, January sale, January sale. We're yeah. also adding stuff every single day to it. So it's not like you go on and there's nothing there for you. Keep going back, keep looking because stuff will be added. Uh, yeah, pretty exciting sale. Nice one. Um, okay, so videos. We've got a new series coming out with Titan of the industry, Mr. Richie Patson, who uh, I think the I saw him in a film called The Real Thing the other day, and I questioned him about this, uh, and he says he does get asked a lot about it. But he's, he's not a titan because of a, a two-minute section. He's also he? worked in the industry for 20 years. Anyway, he recently decided just before his 50th birthday that he wanted to climb 8B+. And not only that, he wanted to document it. So he's, not, he's created a series, a four-part series of his year, trying to get from 7B+, to 8B+. Uh, you know, the pains, the struggles, the injuries, like the training, lattice, tra lattice training and Tom Randall are involved. Anyway, uh, it's four part series, it drops on Thursday. This is the teaser. It's possibly a midlife crisis. Yeah, I'd say you, you can do, I'd say you can do it. You can do it. Whether you will do it. Three, six. <sighs> Five. Yes! You're like a margin off. Every time I come, it gets more and more ridiculous. Looks good, right? It's brilliant. It's so funny. Have you seen it? I've seen bits of it. You keep like holding it to yourself and giggling in a corner. It's very so, funny. Like, I love it. I guess it's funny. I'm a big fan. Um, we're going to try and get a chat with Richie over the next couple of weeks just to kind of get a bit of behind the scenes kind of stuff for them. But yeah, it's the first episode dropping tomorrow. Make sure you watch it, it's brilliant. Another video I want to talk about because I'm super proud of it is the Cafe Craft video that we put out on Tuesday. So basically Cafe Craft, as everyone knows, is this massive gym in Nuremberg and they've built, they've redone their whole training area. Uh, they have this huge 45 degree wall, I think they call them Magnum or something, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, big, big wall. Big, big, big wall. Uh, other walls, Big sort of uh, trek, big ups. Other walls are available. Yeah, other walls are available. Uh, pegboards, uh, campus boards, yep. everything. Uh, so we went, checked it out. Uh, here's a tiny little clip. And our latest product is the Gimmicraft <laughs> Pro Sling Trainer with this beautiful girl in it. And luckily, She's over there. See the magic of TV. Do you see how that wasn't set up at all? So you are the lady on the box. That's true. How did you get? I've never been put on a box. How do I get put? How do I get put on a box? Well, I think you have to be in Cafe Craft. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to train a lot. Okay. And you have to be like uh, the best 8A climber there is. <laughs> this is all sounding very unlikely so far. Nice. Yeah. I got. To and who's the, who's the guy? The guy. Well, the guy. No, the, yeah, the guy that took me around. Hannes took me around, so he yep. owns Cafe Craft. Okay. And uh, yeah, the woman on the box. I met a real life woman on the box. Um, she's Lena, and I want to be on a box now. This is. I feel like I should be on more boxes. My face. Really? Yeah. I think you need to work hard on your sales techniques. Okay. If you own a cereal company and you want me on a box, email me. 
Another video we got is Hans George Hour, the North Face film, 29 minutes film. It's uh, a film about kind of his life, but then a, as an ascent in particular. You know a bit more about this than me, don't you? Yeah, so it kind of just looks at a year of, I mean, he free solos up Serratory, not Serratory, that's the wrong one. It, the the thing in the Dolomites, yeah. Um, but that's like terrifying to look down on. And then he goes to the Himalaya and there's a very sad story there. So it's a great sort of journey film, so worth checking that out. So I continued with this discipline of, of solo climbing and, uh, and I was really getting into it. I also increased the level of the route. When finally I did the first solo climb on Marmolada, I knew that the year after I would come again to do another one. And I did Tempi Moderni in 2006. And coming home from that climb, I knew the next step will be Via del Pesce. I just had to wait for the right moment to, to be ready for it. Cool. I think that's it. I think it is it, isn't it? Have you got anything else? Uh, oh yeah, this weekend. Well, this weekend, yeah, we're flying. We're out of here. We're leaving the cold of the Alps and going to the cold of Chester. Yeah, and what's the gym called? Because I know that people at the gym oh, are really excited about it's coming. The boardroom. Yeah, we've been messaging. They've been messaging us, haven't they? Sure. We went to the be boardroom there. with Tom Randall, Pete Whitaker for their crack master class thing, and we've got loads of content planned. Uh, so it should be a really cool weekend. So check out our Instagram because I'll be doing those Instagram story things, and you can see how we get on. Cool. Nice one. We're done? Yeah. Thanks for watching. All right, see you next week.